What's the bare minimum a man should save a month? It's all relative. I say man for be saving a thousand pounds a month because every month you're seeing growth. If you're only spending, if you're only saving, sorry, 300 pound a month, well, over a five month period, you've only saved 1,500. Whereas if you're saving a thousand pounds a month, let's say it's July now, yeah? Let's say you save a thousand pounds this month, August, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get to December, you've got five, six grand saved up. Every month, you're hitting a new threshold. You've gone from one to two to three to four to five to six. Whereas if you're saving 300 pounds a month, you ain't hitting no new threshold. Okay, you got 300 this month, then 600 the next, then 900, then 1200. Oh, now we've hit a new threshold. Then uh, 1200, 1500, um, 1800, you're still in the same threshold. Then 2100, now we're in the next threshold. In that time, it's been 10 months. Blood. No, I need to see some progress, man. Someone said, how much was your first property? Oh, sorry. Let me just expand on the previous point. So it's all relative. You should not be saving only a thousand pounds a month if you're on 10 grand a month. You should only be, you should be saving a lot more if you're on five grand a month. If you're on five grand a month, blood, you should be saving three grand. You should be saving three grand a month. If you're living at your parents' house, if you're living at your parents' house and you're on five grand a month, you should be saving three grand. There's no excuse. Unless you, unless you're investing that money into like, and property development or whatever it is then that's different but if you're not saving you should be investing you should not have no money for neither so you shouldn't be in a position where you have no money that you can't invest or save you should either be investing or you should be saving one or the other